Hey, what's going on? I am V from V Love and Crystals. Welcome to another Tarot and Tea Tuesday fun video. So last week I shared with you all my astrological decks, my decks on, you know, uh, yeah, astrology cards. I'm sorry, decks on astrology, but I also shared um, a lot of moon cards as well, like moon backings or anything having to do with the celestial universe. So if you want to check that out, please do. If you do any video, video responses, I would love to check it out. I'm saving all of our Tarot and T Tuesday fun videos in a playlist. So if you are taking part in this, please do share the playlist as well so other people can find our videos to watch. And um, yeah, that's how, that's how we're doing things and keep things organized under one umbrella. So I'm gonna share with you my Crystal Dex collection. So I have quite a few. My little stack right here. Ah, avalanche. Um, this first one, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go in order. Well, not, I'm gonna start with mine and then I'm gonna go in no particular order because I, I don't remember which one I bought first. So, oh yeah. Okay, which one was gifted to me? I forget. But, so the first one here is something that I started, uh, I created on my own two, two years ago because I wanted um, something to, you know, go with my channel name. But I also had a fascination for crystals when I first started. Um, I am still interested in them. I'm not fascinated by them anymore like I used to be um, because I think I learned all about, well, I learned, you know, a good chunk of um, the, some of the crystals that I was interested in thanks to my father figure. He, he supplied me with two crystal books. Yeah, like I said, so in love with learning about crystals. And so I made myself a little learning tool. So each one has the crystal, the name, has uh, the, the, the benefits, questions to ponder. What are three tips and tricks to relieve stress? Can you recommend your good shows, books, or songs? Share and inspire in the comments. So this is very interactive. This is specifically for my pick a card readings to help spark conversation in the comments. I even tailored a uh, uh, separate videos just based on these cards alone to uh, create engagement on my, my, my videos. And so I love this deck. This is like my home. This is me in a nutshell. And the backing, I just found a, a you know typical spacey background. I put my channel name on there. So um, lots of crystals. I think this is like 45 cards, I believe. So I, yeah, I used all the, um, the books that I had. I used, uh, I did a lot of research. So I love this deck and I, believe it or not, will be creating my own um, crystal deck that kind of looks like this, but I'm going to make it even better. So that is my little baby, my little home, and I made it with photo paper and I edged the sides. Just regular photo paper. All right. The next one here is the dark crystal, and I think you've seen this. Um, I, I pair this with the ghosties tarot because they're the same size. So um, yeah, I, this is from the lovely Louise over at Falling Star Tarot. She has beautiful pick of cards and she also made me my little uh, turtle, ninja turtle friends, my little my painted buddies. She also made me a uh, Gemini holograms photo and other cute little uh, drawings that she did for moi. Um, shouting her out. So this is a dark crystal deck. This is for uh, from, uh, uh, what's it called? Oh my gosh. Uh, tarot by seven or something like that and um, my father figure bought this for me uh, so these have different crystals looks like they're in a cave or something right it's so little and cute different types of crystals you know one time I did compare all of my crystals to see what crystals I had in my decks and what I was missing it was kind of fun but by then I only had like four or three different crystal decks, so it was easier. Now it would probably take forever. So that is the dark crystal. So underneath you have keywords, adaptability, shamanistic journeys, animal magic. For the lapis lazuli you have royalty, a need for wisdom and truth. For the tourmaline, turmoil, especially spiritual, thought patterns that slow you. So keywords and little phrases. This is the backing. And my father figure was able to ask them to put my ch my channel name on here, which is kind of cool. They did that on um, the website, their website. And then I bronzed it, I, mean, I edged it in bronze. All right, that's that. I'll have all the links to where you can find these down below. 
This is the Crystal Connections deck. Oh, my, my deck is called Crystal Conversations. Um, and then when I found this uh, months later, um, I was like, oh my gosh, that reminds me of my deck. This says Crystal Conversation, no, Crystal Communication. Wait, what? Crystal Com Connections, sorry. So um, this has beautiful crystals out in, in Mother Nature or out in nature. And thanks to my father figure, I told him about this and he gifted this to me. And then in the back, so it's not like mine where I have like the, you know, the healing properties or the healing benefits and questions and um, it's not like that. This has more like um, messages, you know, like like a little, a little uh, synopsis, or not synopsis, no, it's more like what you can do around the energy of this crystal. It's like, um, I'll show you. Opportunities for transformation are being presented to you. If your life is currently challenging, know that this is simply the uncomfortable shifts and growing pains that be, growing pains before the newfound nirvana. And then you have another one here, and then a short message, awaken your heart chakra, and then an affirmation. I have so much in my life to be grateful for. So you have a lot of, yeah, I like that we have things to read, to, you know, read to our um, currents or to start the, the reading with, and then your affirmations. You can, for me, I would just choose whatever resonated the most. I would probably just use the affirmation, or I would just look at the crystal and see what that means to me. I like to read intuitively by gazing at the images. So I just love how beautiful these are. They're so pretty, out in nature. Selenite, yes, I love selenite. So that is the crystal connections, and I like how they shuffle, they're very thick, and I etched it in brown. So I almost passed this along, but then I'm like, no, I love this deck. I need this. I just need to um, start working with it again. Okay, the next one here is the crystal unicorn tarot. So by the lovely Pamela Chen. And now she has the Witchling Academy Tarot, which I just bought. I'm, I'm reading it, actually. So, the, yeah, Pamela Chen, Magician, King of Wands. See, a lot of crystals with these unicorns. So pretty. I love the pastel colors. Let me know if you have this one or not. This was a gift from the lovely Pamela Chen. I reached out to her once upon a time. She was so generous. Thank you so much. I did a review, gave the energy right back, shared her, her deck, and tried to promote her work as much as I could to pay it forward and say thank you for the beautiful gifts. I love doing energy exchange, exchanges. Do whatever I can to promote people's work. That's what I do here on my channel. If you see my love shares, I like to promote other channels, other businesses. So that is a Crystal Unicorn Tarot. The next one is Crystal Skulls Tarot, the backing. And this kind of has like the same cardstock as this one. Yeah, if you shuffle them, they probably you can't even tell the difference unless you, I mean, if you had your eyes closed, you wouldn't be able to tell because they feel exactly the same. Um, so this is by the lovely uh, Crystal Skull, oh, I forget her name. I think her name is Jessica or Jennifer. I'm so bad with names. Um, we chatted a few times because uh, I wanted, yeah, wanted to, you know, pick a brain. Oh, pick a skull about um, when her Kickstarter was coming out. So I, I, I backed this. This is a Kickstarter that I, I did back. And yeah, I fell in love with it. I actually saw there was a, like a prototype that other people were, were reviewing. And then she put it back on Kickstarter, I believe. And I was like, oh, I got to have it. So I've had this for maybe a year and a half now. Beautiful, look how beautiful. I love crystals and these skulls. Like I'm having, I just, I just really like, you know, sugar skulls and like, look at this, Dia de los Muertos. You, have my, you saw my skull bracelet in my videos, my pick a card videos. So the, the only thing I have, the only hang up I, I see is that it's hard to see some of the words. Like like the brown on the blue, it's hard to see. But other than that, it's just beautiful. It's so unique. It's so unique. All right. 
and then we have two more to go this is called the crystal grid or oracle crystal grid i just i fell in love with this one this one is just so pretty and elegant and vibrant and colorful and organized and great for the minim minimalistic who likes to see crystals in clear a cl on a clear space <laughs> clear i mean clean clean space sorry and i love that there are different words crossroads for the chiastolite crystal knowledge for the smoky quartz crystal prosperity for the green garnet fun for the orange calcite i love it it's so creative and i love this though splash the water splash let me know if you have any of these crystal decks here's the backing i made a review on this actually um, most of these uh, yeah all these decks have reviews if you want to check them out you know what i will link my deck reviews playlist um down below but this one doesn't have a review just yet because it's brand new to me um, this came from my spiritual uh, magazine that I get from overseas. My father figure organized a way to have or ask them to ship to um, the States. So um, they come, the spiritual magazines, oh my gosh, it's so such a cool magazine. There's nothing like it here in the States. Um, they give you free decks and I do have other decks um, from them. Um, like my dream catcher deck, I have like the angel number deck. So this one is so cool. It's called Manifest with Crystals. Um, so to manifest, abundance place citrine in the corner of your office or desk and keep some in your wallet to keep money flowing. I set intentions for success in my career with purple ag agate. I cleanse my crystals with sage to enhance their manifestation properties. I will supercharge my manifestation rituals using all of my crystals. I manifest more positive outlook with aragonite. I choose my perf most powerful crystals to do my, my cosmic ordering during the full moon. So I'll just, this is all, yeah, manifestation. So I'm actually going to start using this with my wishes deck because this is my wishing uh, manifestations and blessings deck. So I will be using that with this. I will also use this with my money decks, my, my, my career, my money and career decks. Um, so look how beautiful the watercolor is. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. So, if you're, yeah, it's so beautiful. And they're all different. They're not the same imagery. They're not the same. So, they're like, I don't know how to explain. They're like really squared. And they're not like traditional tarot size. So, I'm going to share with you my wishes deck real quick. Um, this, I don't know, it just gives me that crystally magic vibe. Fifty-three cards, wishes, manifestations, blessings. So, if you're interested in this, I do have a deck review, and I have this for sale in my Etsy shop. And save two on any of our decks, and, and I'm sorry, save two, save ten dollars on any two of our decks. And you have the little crystallization in the snowflakes here down below. Here reminds me of little crystals. Community. This is my Winter's Embrace deck. I mixed it in with my Wishes deck adaptability you have progress synchronicities miracles alchemy uncertainty incomparable offering then i have my wish cards energy divination euphoria so all winter themed but the little snowflake crystals so thank you for watching have a lovely day all the decks that I use today are in my description box. Let me know if you have any of our crystals or these crystal decks. And you take care. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to do a video response so I can look at your video and gaze at all the beautiful stuff you're working with. And I can save your video to our playlist. I'll see you next time on V. Bye-bye. Hey friends, I just wanted to let you know that I do have a tip jar. If you would like to support this channel and keep the energy going, the energy exchange goes a long way. It helps me. Stay motivated with pick cards and fun other video, other fun videos here on the channel. So there are different ways to do that. I have the join memberships right next to my subscribe button. If you click on that, you'll see all the different tiers that I offer. It's also reflective on Patreon. So whatever you decide to choose, it would mean so much to me. And your name gets put at the beginning of my videos to say thank you for your support.